During a news conference in 2008 at the National Press Club in Washington, D.C., Sinclair alleged he and then-presidential candidate Obama had used cocaine and engaged in sexual activities. Sinclair alleged that Obama purchased cocaine for him and that he performed fellatio on Obama in a limousine and hotel room while Obama was smoking crack cocaine from a pipe. The media failed to ask the Obama campaign about the purported drug-fueled sexual encounter between the two. Coincidentally, shortly after the news conference, Sinclair was arrested based on a warrant issued by Joe Biden's son, Delaware Attorney General Beau Biden. Recently, Tucker Carlson interviewed Sinclair about the incident, providing him an opportunity to elaborate on his encounter with Obama in 1999. Sinclair's description of the encounter during the interview is not only consistent with, but also more detailed than the description he provided during the 2008 news conference. Here's a look at how the description he provides in the interview compares to that of the description he provides in the news conference. On November 6, 1999, I asked the limo driver whose name I now reveal for the first time, Jagir Parami Mutani, if he knew anyone who would like to socialize and show me Chicago. And had asked the driver if he knew anybody that was available that might want to show me, you know, Chicago. And he said he did. So well, who was the driver? Uh, his name was Jameer um, Motani. It was with Five Star Limo. Um, so you're just a guy who's in town for the night, and it sounds like you're looking to party, actually. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what you're really saying. Yeah. On November 6, 1999, after picking me up at the hotel in Gurney, and this is significant. And he picked me up at my hotel in Gurney. Upon arriving at the bar and exiting the limo, Senator Obama was standing next to Mr. Mutani, and I was introduced to Senator Obama by name. And drove into Chicago, pulled up in a bar outside, and there's this guy that's introduced to me as Barack Obama. Later that evening in a bar, which I believe was called Alibis, and I state believe because I have failed so far to get Citigroup to provide the credit card receipts that has the actual name. Went into the bar. <coughs> yes, sir. What kind of bar was it? I'm trying to remember. I've been trying to remember the name. I know that the glasses had three X's on them uh -huh. uh, because I remember taking one home uh, for a friend of mine. Well, but I mean, Generally characterize it was it, it was uh, working it was class up, bar, no, gay bar, upscale, strip bar. It was upscale, quiet. I mentioned I could use a line or two to wake up. Senator Obama asked me if I was referring to coke, and I stated I was. I brought up the fact that I could use something to wake up. Um, he immediately knew what I was referring to. Uh, had made it clear that I was looking for coke, and Senator Obama arranged the cocaine purchase. Senator Obama and I then departed the bar in my limousine and proceeded to an unknown location where Senator Obama exited the limousine with $250, which was provided to him by me. Returned a short while later with an eight ball of cocaine, which he gave to me. Get back in the limo. The driver takes us wherever it is that Barack had instructed him to take us. I had given Barack $250 to pay for coke. I did ingest a couple of lines of cocaine, and shortly thereafter, Senator Obama produced a glass cylinder pipe and packet of crack cocaine from his pocket. Obama then smoked the crack cocaine. I start putting a line on a CD tray uh, to snort. Uh, you, and you're, you're in, in the, the limo. limo? Yep. Driving or parked? No, the driver's driving. Yep. I start to put a line on a, on a CD tray. And I just happened to notice that he pulls something else out of his pocket. And next thing I know, he's got a little pipe and he's smoking, so. I performed fellatio on Senator Obama in the limousine during the time Senator Obama was smoking crack cocaine. So, um, so you performed oral sex on Barack I did. Obama? You did. Um, in, in the driver's up front? Yep. And he's cool with this? The driver has the partition up. He didn't have a problem with it. He didn't put it down for any reason. I mean, he kind of set up the whole thing for this in the first place. Exactly. After which I had the driver take me to my hotel, the Comfort Suites, Gurney, Illinois. Afterwards, I actually went back to my hotel. I had specifically asked that he drop Barack off first, but for some reason he and Barack chose that they would drop me off at the hotel first and then he would take Barack. So, Barack actually made the drive out to Gurney, which is a suburb outside of Chicago. 
The following day, November 7th, 1999, Senator Obama appeared at my hotel room, unannounced, uninvited, where we again ingested cocaine and I again performed fellatio on Senator Obama. He showed up. I mean, I had no warning. I was in the room. There's a knock on the door. I opened the door and he's standing there. And he's standing there with more coke and he comes in and it was just like a quick, you know, rehash or rerun from the night before. The exact same program. Exact same program. Was he smoking again? Yep. So Barack Obama smokes crack and then you perform yep. all sex on him. 